Hey, what's going on, Virgo? Thank you so much for tuning in. My name is Ayoga for all of my new viewers. I'm just going to bring you a message real quick. I got to get out of here. I am, I know, y'all, I'll be all over the place, right? But I love it. If I ain't busy, I feel like I ain't accomplishing shit, okay? <laughs> but however, y'all, I'm um, happy birthday to you, all of my Virgi Virgs, all right? Um, my birthday is coming up, 9-9. Nine, nine. I'm kind of excited. It's starting to really kind of set in now that, hey, you got a birthday, boo? What's up? Yeah, I'll be the big 43, y'all. I'm excited. Um, Let me see if I can get this mic right so y'all can hear me well. Okay, yeah, so... Let's just see what's going on with the energy for you guys for today, this weekend, whenever you tune in, it don't matter, right? Because this reading is not time sensitive. However, let me stack this up here a little bit. There we go. All right. So don't forget, flip the rolls, take only what you need, leave what you don't need, and please use the spirit of discernment. Um, flip what I say. I did say that already. Okay. And also, uh, I like to tell a story. So basically get in where you fit in. If you don't fit, don't force it. It's all good. Y'all, these are collective readings. I may have a message that will resonate sometimes and sometimes it may not. Um, it just depends on who needs the reading the most. However, if you are a member of my channel, I definitely, my spirit team, make sure y'all get a message, okay, out of these collective readings. Um, it's part of the perks, all right? So um, if you would like to join, there's a join now button that is attached to the video. You can click that and definitely check out and see what I got going on. I got the Soul Tribe members, um, Soul Tribe Squad, Virgo Squad, and the Divine Feminine Squad, okay? Um, anything else? If you are feeling generous, hit the thanks button. Also, if you check out the detail box below the video, you will see my website. I have been having people ask um, where to get readings from. Read the detail box. It has everything in there that you need to know from my website to my cash app to specials that I'm running um, to my wish list. If you're feeling like you want to be generous and just send me a wish, I mean a gift from off of my wish list. Um, it's everything in you there that you need to know. My twins information when it comes to him and his music career. So I do encourage you guys, if you could follow him over on Instagram and also follow him on um, or subscribe to his YouTube. Um, we are definitely like at this point, y'all, in our journeys where we are now supposed to be working together, basically, okay? Working together collectively for the greater good of humanity, okay? So support in any kind of way that you seem fit. Also, if it's something that you are doing, definitely reach out to me on my Instagram. You can message me and I will follow you. I will subscribe, whatever you need. Okay. <laughs> it's that's what it's about. We build in here. We are a community. We end this to win this together. All right. So um, let me see what the energy is like for you guys overall. Set my intentions and then I'll dive right in. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, angelic guys, for protecting us as we go through the portal. I thank you for getting rid of this annoying fly that keeps flying around me. Thank you for protecting my throat chakra and my energy. I ask that the portals are closed to anything not in alignment with the divine's will. Any negative energies, any karmic energies, any projections, any spell work, anything that is being sent my way, I cast it down and I ask that you protect me and my community with your wonderful white lights. Thank you for protecting my throat chakra if I didn't say that. And I thank you that my true guides are here with me to help deliver this message. And so it is. All right. All right. What's up? What's up? What's up? What is the energy for Virgo? Ooh, one at a time. I'm scratching has the energy for Virgo. Help me. Thank you. Woman holding a heart in a reverse. And remember, if this isn't your energy, this is someone connected to you. So there is a woman that could be around you or someone that you know. Okay. I do also feel like this could be possibly you. All right. As well. So you take it how it resonates. Excuse me. This damn selfie light has just been on its best bullshit, y'all. So hold on one second. It's like I try to stand it up on the legs. It falls. I try to stick it inside of something. It falls. <laughs> it's like, stop. <laughs> I think it's just trying to be a distraction to my life right now. I'm going to try to hurry up, y'all. Y'all know I'm in this role called Baltimore Bandeo. Um, It's a movie. Uh, I guess a series you would call it, right? So um, I do ask you to go over there on to uh, YouTube as well and subscribe to 
Baltimore Bandeo. Just look it up. It should just come up because I don't, I'm not sure how they have it, you know, written out there. It may be like Baltimore underscore Bandeo, but I'm not sure. But I ask that you do check that out. Matter of fact, I will put that information in the detail box below this video. Um, I do, we do have the palette up, so you'll be able to see me doing some acting. All right. So me taking this role is just basically one of the things I decided to do to step outside of my comfort zone, um, to be able to operate in my most authentic self and my empress energy, right? I'm, I'm looking for that. I look, I ain't looking, I found the shit. Okay. My confidence. All right. Connecting back to me, my true self, um, at its core. But, um, I do ask that you guys go and subscribe to that channel and also go follow them on um instagram okay thank you so much but with this um woman holding a coin in the reverse position all right this has a lot to do with and i, I i'm saying some type of emotional disconnect and i, I can kind of like really agree with this um for the most part y'all know i'm a virgo so my energy can be tied up in here somewhere too but when a woman holding a coin comes in i mean a heart in the reverse comes out it usually indicates a state of being emotionally overwhelmed or you may feel like your love life is turned upside down, right? Or it could refer to some different difficulties in a family matter or close friendship. In this case, it's time to let go or resolve things now. There's also a possibility that this woman reverse is someone who brings a negative emotional influence in your life. They may be jealous, resentful, or even more subtle manipulation going on. So don't take things personally, but endeavor to bring greater clarity and calm self-empowerment to the situation now and always remember to bring a loving heartfelt energy to yourself okay so however way it goes right because the deceit card comes out right next to that y'all so we already know devil energy at play and then i got the hostility card that came out it's in a reverse position so it's a possibility like future wise whatever is happening you know in in the now this person is either going to let their guards down or you will okay whoever's playing this role i don't know how my phone is overheating i don't understand my phone just overheats for no apparent reason y'all it's not even hot in here uh, it'd be messing up my whole everything i am downloading a tiktok video so when it does that and it shuts off it makes me have to start all over yes my phone is extremely really hot right now so Basically, yeah, it marks the end of hostility for you. There's a shift in the energies around you and even about you. And the universe is supporting your own internal shift as well. So whether the aggressive actions has ended due to external factors or your own intervention, this card bodes well for more peace and harmony. So be aware, however, that there may still be some actions you have to take. And it may seem on the surface that things are slow and getting better, but the card encourages you, letting you know that the inner vibrations are changing and the situation will be resolved. Okay, so whatever's happening, it's going to be resolved. All right, so let's let Tarot do some talking. Tell me about this woman holding a heart in the reverse. High Priestess comes out. you can see it so it's something you know it's a lot of stuff that's hidden from you definitely all right but this is a time right now where you have to trust your inner knowing okay all right because your inner knowledge is going to be what's best right now this is what's going to guide you through this situation okay because um it could be somebody yeah that's being manipulative or acting on some type of bias or prejudice around you okay um as well i got this knight of pentacles that comes out in the reverse position here all right so let me see show me what i need to see i definitely feel like it's a lot of unexpected changes okay that's taking place now somebody may not be as reliable as you may be thinking yeah the tower card comes out in the upright position either way it's like either you're thinking this person is not reliable or you're actually knowing that something is off with this situation or this person and of course again with that tower energy that means some things are shifting it's a lot of sudden changes it's a lot a lot sudden upheavals is how i'm seeing it right 
whatever is happening here again is is helping you to move forward because i feel like you may have been trying to resist some things okay or not listening to your intuition um when it comes to this particular person okay and this is why this is happening all right so hmm show me more about this some of you could be you know going through divorce some of you could be going through endings of relationships um, financial situations whatever it is that's happening here around you is definitely happening for a reason it's a part of your spiritual training Boom. the higher front comes out here okay it's like you're now at this process where you're establishing certain values your own belief systems and things like that right you're going away from the normal what tradition has been telling us okay about ourselves and how we should um practice whatever it is that we're doing and i feel like you're establishing this for yourself okay and you're choosing which tradition to embrace and how to go about doing it this is why all of this stuff is coming out this is why whoever this person is if it's not you is is borderline over here what i just heard like on an obsession okay they watch you they watch you virgo Or you watching somebody. Show me what I need to see about the, the seat card. It's something here about your lifestyle that's unconventional here. In, in, uh, yeah, three of pentacles comes in the reverse. And it's like because you're not working with them, you're not connecting with them, you ain't partnering with them. It's like because you don't have, you know, that camaraderie with them you may have cut this person off okay wow it's a lot of disappointment that i'm seeing around this all right so tell me more about this this week the magician comes out and what i see here is like for real i feel like you are literally manifesting you're doing a lot here you are literally creating your reality right now you got all the resources you need and you are knowing you know how to use this in and out of you know how to use this you got the willpower you know how to direct your own will and everything you're manifesting like i'm saying it's like your creative visualization and everything is like on point right now and this person is at this point where they're blocked in their creativity right now they're frustrated they having delays Tell me more about who is this person? I feel like this is definitely got to be, yep, a queen of pentacles in the reverse. This, I'm about to say, this is not your energy. This is somebody else who is very dissatisfied right now. They may could even be doing spell work for some of y'all. I don't like to tap into that shit because I think it's bullshit. Only because you got to be operating on a certain frequency for this to be effective in your life. And if you're vibrating at a higher frequency and you're self-aware... Boom, bounces right back off of you onto them, right? You can send it right on back to the sender or, the, or it's literally going to go ahead and, and, and go back, right? Because you're in alignment. And some of you, your, your spirit guides is strong as hell. Your ancestors don't play around with you, okay? So, and what I'm seeing here, whoever this person is operating as a queen of pentacles reverse, this person is very shallow, okay? They could be insecure, selfish, whatever it is about them, Right? I'm feeling completely self-absorbed type person. It's like because everything is on, the attention is on you because of who you are. Like right now, I feel like you may be operating in a queen of pentacles energy up, right? You over there, you're confident, you're generous, you're caring, you're balanced. You're balanced. This person is envious is what I'm seeing. So tell me more about this queen of pentacles reverse. And what, like I said, with the hostility card coming out in the reverse position, nah, you good. Whatever is happening, let me look at this again. Whatever is happening, it's it's gonna be, it's not gonna go anywhere. Just put it that way. It it bodes well for more peace and harmony. So whatever they think that they're doing to try to slow things up in your life, this is like hostile energies. This is like, and it says here, this is this card um, is different from the deceit card because the hostile energies are more apparent, more overt. In fact, you may have been living with some with them for some time. 
But whether this is new or old energy, now is the time to regain your control. All right, allowing dishonoring treatment from others is an open invitation to the universe to send you more. So who, whatever it is, it's like this has been in your energy already for a minute or whatever it is. It's like hostile energy for real. And don't worry, like I said, it could be in work or social situations. It could be somebody that's backstabbing you. Um, could be somebody in and out. It could be some slandering going on. Whatever is going on here with this person here, all I keep hearing is don't worry. The hermit card comes out. This person has been doing a lot of contemplating about what? They feel restricted. You may have, like I said, withdrew your energy from someone. Mm -hmm. You withdrew your energy some, from someone here. You're, you may have isolated someone out. I feel like whatever it is, or you could be just being antisocial. You may not be like vibing well with certain people. And and it's just like they're not an energetic match to you. So you, you're no longer associating with these people. And it's like they've been doing some type of reflecting here or contemplating here on how they can literally... <laughs> here deceit seven of swords same thing right how they can literally come at you steal from you lie to you lie on you it's like they're trying to come up with some type of strategy tell me about the seven of swords energy but of course of who because of who you are it's like spirit brings all this to the light mm -hmm. two of cups comes out next to the eight of swords okay this could be somebody that again you were friends with partnership somebody you could have been with right like i said this could be somebody else person okay that you that you know however it go right because i do feel like it's some disharmony or it's an imbalance here um that could have taken place between you and someone else and yeah it's heavy on third party situations if it's not that again it's somebody that you know personally and again they feel restricted they feel like their hands is tied because at this point with this relationship, again, it's like you guys are not vibing. Tell me what I need to see about this. Yep, it's the death card comes out. You ended the connection. You're going through the spiritual trans transformation and they have this inability to move forward. They fear what you're doing. They definitely do. They fear what you're doing. They, they, and you are letting go. It's like, I feel like you may have been just like, you know, I'm not going to even entertain this. It ain't no love loss. You know what I'm saying? I'm willing to let go of the past version of myself. I'm willing to go through my transformation. I'm not scared. All right. I'm following this process. That's my own with that higher front energy coming through. I'm not doing it the way that society says I should do it or, way, or the way religion say I should do it. I'm doing my own thing. I'm establishing my own set of values and belief systems for myself. Here with that five of swords energy coming out in the reverse position here again it speaks of a peaceful resolution period because i feel like you're moving on this person wants to communicate in some kind of way with you okay you may have walked away from the situation Let me see something here. So since we got these karmic energies, that feminine energies that are coming through here, what's this person's true intentions? What's this feminine energy's true intentions? What's this Queen of Pentacles true reverse true intentions here? King of Cups reverse. It's all over a masculine energy. They also getting some bad advice from somebody. Okay. They really looking out for themselves because they triggered. They highly tri they're highly triggered about this. They're not balanced in their emotions. Their emotional intelligence is little next to nothing when it comes to this. They're not healing. Okay. Tell me more about this King of Cups reverse. Four of Swords in the reverse position. So what I feel like here is they feel rejected. <laughs> My phone don't even, let me put it on vibrate. They feel rejected, right? They feel rejected here by, if this is a third party type situation and this is somebody, say like it's your masculines. Hey, what's going on? 
Uh, hold on, y'all. Say like it's your masculine's um. Try and get my TikTok to upload back up. Say like it's your masculine's karmic or something like that, right? It's like because of the fact that you guys are healing and and recovering within that connection again. Like I said, it's like you guys are actually beginning to understand what it means to work together. Okay, I spoke about this in the beginning of the video. What it means to work with your person on a different whole nother level besides it being about the relationship. And because you have taken that time to heal from your pain, they haven't done that. They still feel rejected. They're still holding on to that. And they're getting some bad advice. Tell me about this bad advice. And this is what's pushing them to now look at you. The lovers comes in the reverse position. Because the feelings are not mutual here with this uh, King of Cups reverse and them. Wow. It's too much disharmony here. And what y'all got is 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 definitely meaningful. Y'all have a meaningful connection. They don't have the same connection. And so now where instead of them feeling enthusiastic and instead of them, you know, taking that time to embrace on a new journey for themselves here with this page of wands coming out, they're literally getting ready to they acting out or they want to act out, right? They're discouraged. They're looking at this as an obstacle. They feel like, you know, their heart is broken right now, okay, because of whatever this King of Cups is doing in the reverse to them. And so they're looking at you now as the target. Here with the Ten of Pentacles here in a reverse position, right? It's an unexpected plans, unexpected changes to their plans. They wasn't expected to go this way. They feeling rejected. They're looking at it like they're suffering some type of huge loss because of it. Where they thought, hey, I was going to be able to have this Ten of Pentacles. I was going to be able to do that. But because the connection that they have with this person is karmic, or this person in your life is karmic, okay? Look at that, Queen of Pentacles. And you are this person's, this masculine energy's person, right? Because you're coming in here with that balanced energy. You're abundant, okay? You're nurturing. You're concerned with the welfare of other people. The Queen of Pentacles reverse, not. They self-absorb. They only care about their own well-being. 22-22 on my timer. They only care about what's for them. Me, me, me. Now now that they feel like they're not getting it, they're feeling insecure. They're feeling unstable. I mean, um, they're not feeling stable, okay? <sighs> so now it's like they're over here all suspicious and everything, trying to figure out, okay, what's going on with Virgo? What makes them... You understand so much better and deserving because they feeling rejected right now. Tell me, does Virgo, ooh, yeah, it's an obstacle for them. The chariot card, they're looking at you like it's an obstacle, like you're the obstacle, like they're being forced to have to go through this. They feel like you are the one that's blocking them, okay? But again, there's going to be a peaceful resolution, right? Because spirit already know. Spirit works behind the scenes to make sure everyone is needs are met. Okay. And, and the balance is there. What should Virgo be doing? I heard. Keep shining. <laughs> Don't lose hope. The star card is in the reverse. Don't lose hope. The universe is going to show you that you can have what it is that you dream about as long as you stay hopeful okay 17 that number 17 just keeps appearing some of you who are, um, are on a twin flame journey okay your masculine is coming back and this is what is igniting this okay look the star card comes out again clarified again next to the sun all right bam stay positive shine your light on the world okay period it's your radiance that's attracting and more success that's attracting this person your masculine back to you if this is a twin flame dynamic if you're not sure if the person you're connected to is a higher level soulmate definitely get a personal reading okay because what i'm seeing here this i ain't gonna say how can i say it's a lot of truth coming forward let's just put it that way it's a lot of truth coming forward here. Um, it's, it's coming forward on all parts. It ain't just happening in your world, Virgo. 
So whatever's happening over in karmic land, yeah, they getting hit with the truth too by the universe. But the only difference is with you, Virgo, you're evolving. So it don't sting as bad, okay? You, you feeling it, but you know that the greater purpose is for you to continue to evolve and to continue to move forward with your journey. Yep, three of wands comes out. You already got the foresight, you know. Some of you are traveling. Some of you are actually moving abroad. Some of you are going into foreign land, okay, on this journey, not really sure what the hell get right happened. You're just going because you already got the foresight. You're already planning. You already got the confidence here, the belief in the freedom, okay? Look at that. Knight of Cups comes out upright. And again, as you are moving forward and, and following your heart and your passion, it's also bringing, boom, your person back in. So it's taken for you, right, to follow your heart, to help balance out this person, to come back in, to start to express themselves in creative ways. Okay, I do feel like whoever this masculine energy is has had some very poor personal boundaries. Let me see something here. I ain't had a reading in a minute where, you know... Carmisha or Carmichael starts to come through. <laughs> you know, I'll be like, nah, we ain't even going to vibrate on that frequency. We don't even want to know. No, because <laughs> mm -mm. no, we evolving over here. We don't care about the hate, right? Because it can't touch you. You are highly protected. This is why spirit will say, hey, it's going to be a, a peaceful resolution. Okay? Even if someone does try to communicate with you, you don't even got to vibrate on that frequency. Stay connected to your higher self. There's visions in your third eye that are coming to you in the form of tele telepathic waves from your twin flame. So if you are a twin flame, you guys are getting these visions. So let me see. Tell me about these visions. Pay attention to the number synchronicities. 2211. Tell me about these visions. A whole lot of cards came out, y'all. <laughs> a whole lot of cards. Let's do it again. Tell me about these visions. <laughs> Queen of Cups, uh, up right, and the Five of Swords comes out in the reverse position. Yeah, because you're highly intuitive, this is why you're catching the downloads. Um spirit can trust you with this this is why you're getting it through those visions between each other okay so let allow your souls to lead your souls know what to do and the reason why you're getting it this way is because whoever this karmic person is they're unreliable they can't be trusted all right so this is why it has to come in this manner is what i'm hearing it can't be spoken you know how they used to say um uh you know you never let the devil know what your plans are <laughs> So it has to come in a way where the words are unspoken or or you know how they say they use tongues, right? You, you speak through tongues. Like I said, I got a little fly, a little fly on the wall that keep flying around, a little spy, <laughs> okay? But whatever has happened, right? It's a lot going on on the external world, basically. And what I'm seeing here is that you're getting some visions here basically about this because What I keep hearing is like this karmic is trying to fight at the expense of the other, basically. They feel very defeated. And so you guys are able to connect to each other here through telepathy, right? To bring that balance. To, um, Six of Cups comes out to bring the harmony, the two of Pentacles in the reverse, so that you guys energetically can um, energetically, how can I put it? Make the decisions that you need to make here through 5D together. It's like your souls are no, your souls are doing this. Your souls know what to do. This is why it's happening through telepathy. This is why you guys are being drawn back together. Why the connection is starting to form again. Okay, where there was that break, that stagnation. All right, so literally, so that you guys can be able to take care of what you need to take care of with each other. Okay.
It's like y'all meeting together on 5D. It's like I'm, I'm envisioning this. Y'all meeting together in 5D, right? <laughs> With that peace offering. <laughs> Trust the insight that you're getting, okay? Somebody needs to call their power back to them. I keep seeing union. What I tell you, your souls have already became one. It's inevitable, all right? Even if you're in separation, even if you are having an emotional disconnect, whatever is happening, it's you guys are one. Your souls are already connected. Hold on one second. What I tell you? Distorted feminine. It's a mother figure. It's somebody's mom, or it could be just a mom, or it could be somebody's um, you know, like you say like a sister, right? <laughs> Shit, it could be a, a freaking brother, right? I've been operating in that feminine energy, but it's still that mom energy. That's a woman, okay? Somebody's uh, child's mother is also what I'm seeing. Union. Tell me about this distorted fe feminine. The star card comes in a reverse. This person feels hopeless. They're focusing on a negative at this point, okay? Yep, Ace of Cups comes out. When it comes to this new beginning, when it comes to your new relationship here with your person, okay? That's forming. It's forming in the energetic realm. It's already done in the energetic realm here. It's coming here into this 3D, okay? Reality right now is happening. I feel like this distorted feminine has tried everything to try to keep you guys from forming this union, okay? And now that they're they're hopeless, four of pentacles comes out in a reverse position. They're still trying to hold on. And instead of them, you know, shedding the old and letting go, yeah, they're still trying to hold on. Here with the eight of wands coming out in the reverse position. Tell me about this. They're not progressing. Yeah. They're not progressing at all. It's a it's an imbalance. It's almost like this energy here. I want to see something. Something happened with someone. One of these karmic energies may be re returning from somewhere they may have went somewhere out of town and they in somewhere in there this is when they started to see some things transpire the devil card comes out and then the death card is right beside it okay um this is what began to bring on that imbalance that clash what happened when this distorted feminine returned from whatever travel that star card keep coming out in a reverse position here so whatever it is it made them feel hopeless eight of swords in a reverse position here okay so because of that they started trying to find some type of solution here um again because whatever it is it made them feel restricted in some kind of way so i'm gonna see what's coming out tell me what i need to see here four wands okay so when they when they came back from wherever they was at Look, I must be getting some because I'm fly fucking like zzz, zzz. they were going through some type of upheaval. Yeah, they don't want me to tell. They were going through some type of upheaval, right? With your person, okay? Some kind of way, whatever it is, is with some type of traveling, okay? Some type of upheaval taking place in... It made them feel out of balance. I feel like it could have been like a breakdown in the communication somewhere between them two or a lack of harmony, whatever it is, okay? And this is what's making them feel uncertain. So they're starting to see like, 
hold up, their eyes became open or clear to some things here that they were being released, that there's an ending, right? Because the devil caught in the reverse, usually about somebody standing in their independence, taking their power back. Okay. And overall, show me what I need to see. Tell me about the upheaval. Up over the queen of pentacles, which would be the feminine of my collective. Now, the nine of pentacles comes out here. And then I got the five of cups next to this eight of wands and a reverse on top of that. Okay. What I'm seeing is like, they thought that they had this in the bag. Huh? I don't know where that came from. Because they thought that it was a lot of misunderstandings and delays when it came to you and your person here. Yeah, they thought they was able to set you back here with that five of cups energy. But the tables turn. Wow. Like I said, you two balance. You two balance. Here, nine of pentacles in an upright position on top of that. You already um, is someone who is stable. You're creating this st stability for yourself in inward and outward, period. Right? This is where it's getting you at here with this queen of pentacles upright being balanced. Okay, and you're creating this healthy balance for yourself. So whatever they thought that they were di they were doing is not working. Page of Pentacles up, right? And now I'm, what I'm hearing is like it's like a ricochet effect, like it's bouncing back onto them. So now, yeah, this is why they're experiencing the upheavals. So everything that you were going through with this person in your life, they're now going through it. What made them aware of these, these things? What I just heard is like they tried to use some type of form of manipulation here to manipulate the masculine to feel bad about something. Hmm. Yep, temptation. Look at that devil energy coming through. Yeah, they try to manipulate this masculine through though their own uh, codependencies, basically. And I don't see it work. I didn't see it working at all. Whatever they tried to do, it actually took a turn for the worse. Because again, like I said, it's like you guys' souls have already been connecting, tapping in through 5D with each other. Your souls have actually been healing each other, right? Because you're healing yourself. So you're working with yourself on a soul level. And this is how this is happening, okay? And whatever those addictions and, and behaviors your masculine is beginning to heal from those addictions and behaviors. So this is why it's no longer working. So even if this distorted feminine may have came in, like trying to tempt them or do something, manipulate them by making them feel bad or whatever, right? It's not working. And I feel like they tried to place a lot of emphasis on that and it, and it didn't, it backfired. Okay. And so they're starting to see that everything that they've been trying to plan to do is no longer working because the love is beginning with you and them now. Because the masculine is beginning to pull away. The feminine of my collective, I feel like you are now beginning to open your heart. This is what spirit has been telling you, whispering to you, like, okay, there's an aspect of you that's shut down and it's closed off. You got to open your heart to your person here. When you open your heart to your person, it brings in the opportunity for that love to come in. And that's what's happening. If you haven't gotten to that point yet where you are still closing your heart and have these negative emotions or feelings about your person or, or it's still some type of resentment there, okay, open your heart. When your heart is open and ready to receive the love, this is where the love begins. And this is the beginning. Your cup is about to overflow with so much joy and happiness and positive feelings, okay? A lot of stuff is coming through for you, all right? This is your time, is what I, I just heard to shine.
opportunity comes through and passion this is going to be a very passionate intense or mysterious phase for you this is because of your readiness to change it's like because you decided if you are the feminine of my collective that you know and especially if this is your person because it's only going to work if it's your person if you ain't saying none of this shit work it's because that person may not actually be who you supposed to be with your divine counterpart right so definitely listen to your intuition because your soul will know for real you know deep down in your soul like oh yeah that's my person okay um because they are you your readiness to change is what's bringing this all about it just took for you to open your heart It's bringing about fresh circumstances, whether you initiate them or not. Changes could come out of the blue or have already taken you by surprise. It has, hasn't it? This card represents new opportunities that are stepping stones to a better life or news that simply astounds you. An interest in the esoteric will take you to new places. A lot of you guys definitely are connected on a soul level. You're connected to your spiritual team and you're connecting to the most high and accepting and embracing your journey. There's a fresh relationship, literally, that's coming in for you, and it's going to be exciting. And even, again, like I said, if, you haven't, if, if you're connected to a karmic and not your twin, you even have a new person coming in for you that's operating on a soul level, I mean, higher level soulmate, okay? That's going to be stable. So if you're feeling insecure... About anything, any aspect of finding love or even about yourself, this right here is going to make, it's going to be, it's going to prove literally to be destabilizing. It won't be fulfilling. Okay. This is why spirit is like, you got to do the soul work. It got to go on a soul level period in order for you to be able to experience that healthy, happy love. It's about you being ready to change. But for the freedom loving, this relationship can represent a period of dynamic mutual respect and willingness to be independent and openly pursue other relationships too as well. This card can represent the on and off dynamic of a disruptive relationship. Perhaps you or your partner is unwilling to commit, right? That can also happen. Some of you, depending on the stage you are at in your journey, that's where you could be at. You could be at the point right now where it's at in and out, right? But at this point, what I'm seeing in this reading, at some point, you guys are going to get to that stage where you are balanced. And usually when you go into these new beginnings and you have this readiness for changing, guess what? It alter, it's like altering the status quo. So it, it really brings in the upheaval in everyone's life. Because again, you got to have that upheaval in order for you to, like it got to get disrupted for a minute. Just so things can balance out, okay? But if you're open to the change and you put in the effort because it's definitely worth it, you're going to have this journey of self-discovery and all. Oh, I'm telling you, the passion is there, all right? This is a very passionate connection. This is why I feel heavily like, you know, this is definitely for my twins. Look at that. <laughs> you have to operate in the duality, okay? This card of deep passion, intense emotion, secrecies, chaotic people, manipulation, and at its worst, aggression and conflict. And as you can see on the karmic side, this is what's happening. This feminine is distorted as fuck. Okay. This may be related to a phase in your life that is transformational as you progress from one circumstance to another. A completely new approach to life due to profound developments will unfold. I truly feel and believe that you guys are now beginning to try things differently. You're taking a new approach to life, to a way of being, to a way of, of um, living everything. I feel like now you're beginning to take a risk with being more open and not so closed off and not so guarded. Okay. If you're not, I encourage you to, because Spirit is saying you cannot take this journey with a closed heart. It's just not going to work. You got to be open in order to help in the capacity that we help in, okay? 
Rest assured, you can rise like a phoenix from the ashes of any dramatic circumstance. An all-consuming relationship and a charming or attractive person may be at the center of great change in your life. Maintain a level-headed approach to people or your passions, emotions, and overindulging in food, wine, alcohol, or drugs may become all-consuming as well. So be mindful. Moderation. You got to have a clear mind so that you can avoid any obsessive or destructive thoughts and actions or self-sabotaging because we can self-sabotage the shit out of some stuff sometimes when we allow our egos to take over, right? Make an effort to be centered and to seek to be calm. Channel your energy into constructive pursuits and work off excess energy at the gym or at the beach, right? Get into nature, move your body, get creative, do all of these things because it can, not only is it passionate, it's also intense. You're going to feel passionate about everything, whatever your interests are. So aim to see the bigger picture and be ready to attain a deeper understanding of the mysteries of life and the subtle and powerful energies that propel your self-development. And whatever the karmic connections are, those karmic relationships that you may have or whoever this other you know person is that's coming through here, is the ways that you can navigate through these things carefully. Why? Because these type of soul connections, they last throughout eternity. They're always there. They follow you along just as well as the twin, right? Through each lifetime. They are, they are not only just your person's lesson, they are also a part of your lessons too. And of course, a lot of the masculines have children by these karmic energies. When you reincarnate, you reincarnate in different roles. It's like your karmic could be your mama now and then next lifetime, this shit, they be your daughter, okay? But however, this is why you have to be ready and open to attain a deeper understanding of the mysteries of life and how things work, especially within these connections. You, it can be either way. It can be wonderful and fulfilling or it can be destructive and co cohesive. Cohesive. How can I say it? Coercive. I can't say the word for some odd reason. Cohesive. But the choice must be taken to end the karmic cycle in a pleasant, matter-of-fact way. And then what came to me is like a lot of the masculines have been trying to end these karmic situations in a peaceful manner. Like they got that right. 707 on the time on my clock. They got that part right. Where we, where a lot of the feminines are like, why you that? <laughs> Fuck them. <laughs> they doing it right. Right. Cause they want to end the karmic cycles. So in a way to avoid creating negative karma is by focusing on the good in both yourself and those you interact with. It's like, even when it's hard, this is why we are being taught you know, to have that compassion and that empathy here for our divine counterparts, right? Because in order for us to be able to help others, because everyone possess that karmic energy, everyone is operates in their lower self at some point, you got to be able to express the unconditional love. You got to be able to keep your karma clean, okay, with the people that you interact with. And the best way to do it is also to remember to connect to that peace and connect back to that love. It's a lot. And being a light worker, because we operate in the light and we operate through love, the highest vibration of all, we tend to forget that that love has to be extended to everyone, even the people we are connected to. Okay. We can be so hard on our counterparts, right? Sometimes they, you know, you got some people in your life that deserve it. And even at that point, it's like, even with my karmic, no, you, he done some fucked up shit. Okay. A lot. But I, I don't have a close. I don't have, how can I say it? I ain't going to say that. I'm not in a point of there's any negative emotion, any unforgiveness, any hate that I feel towards this person whatsoever. It's true, genuine compassion. And that's about it. There's no way I can ever hold a space of hate in my heart for any of the people who play the karmic role in my life. I won't. I refuse. Okay. But it goes the same way. When it comes down to the people that we're connected to, oh my gosh. How we hold them <laughs> so tightly to their mistakes 
It's so weird. And I never understood it. It's like, how do we do that to our lovers? But when it comes to our friends, we tend to allow them to get away with. And sometimes it can go the opposite way. I can I can actually say that sometimes people will actually um, have more grace with their partners than they do with their friends in their life. But then sometimes you see it that you'll give your friends more grace or your family members more grace when they do some effed up stuff to you than you will give to the person that you're actually involved in um, with. But however way it goes, the whole thing is, right? You want to be able to end the karmic cycles in a pleasant way. That's the focus, okay? Focus on the good. That's all spirit is acting. 710. Focus on the good. You want to complete the cycles, open up your heart space, focus on the good. Even if you can't see it, you can ask the divine to help you. Help you to connect to that space, your heart space here. Because again, you got to look at the bigger picture. A lot of people are sitting up here. The bigger picture for them is being in a relationship with their person. And that's all that's to it. Mm -mm. It only delays the manifestation of your prayers. You know, we can't put no one before the divine, right? We can't put no one before our ourselves on this journey as well. It has to be a balance, most definitely. So remember, in order for you to to be able to operate and function in a union that has to be union of self first. Okay. Balance your own energy operate. Okay. On in your higher self, connect to your soul, your soul's purpose. All right. Cause this is a part of your life purpose. This person, your, your spiritual walk and your journey. All right, y'all. So I'm gonna get ready to go. Cause I I've been supposed to laugh, right? I got to record a scene tonight and yeah, they're going to be mad. So I'm getting ready to go. I love y'all guys. You enjoy your weekend and happy birthday to you guys all again. Don't forget to hit the like button and the thanks button if you're feeling generous. I appreciate you. Peace.